Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. And chat on. All right. <clears throat> so, between episodes, I didn't build that red wire cable line. I didn't feel like playing. So, we are exactly where we left off, pretty much. And exactly where we left off is we... Now that we have solved the Copper Crisis, now that we have all the basic resources, except technically redstone, but we have 10,000 redstone in storage, so it's going to last for a little while. Now that we have all these blocks more or less coming in, it is time for us to make use of them. And that means making some garden cloches. Now, technically we don't have all the resources in, the, in just yet. I'm going to need to... Make some bronze gears. I'm going to need to make some electrum. Just in order to make the heavy blocks necessary. But yes, we need biodiesel now. N-O-W. So, let's just get on that. I don't have all that much electrum, and I don't have all that much gold. I might have to go and grab some more gold. We're also going to need to chunk wood in there for the pistons. I have some jungle wood, and it is jungle wood specifically that it is using. Because that is the wood that eventually will be fully ottoman. Hello, Prince! Lovely to see you here. Well, regardless of how long you stay, it's wonderful having you in the stream. Uh, have you seen this wonderful abomination that I've been working on? Yep. You commented on it in, a, in the episode that's been released to um, from the buffer, but uh, yeah, it didn't take all that long to make. And uh, no individual part of it is as complex as it looks. It's just that it's a lot of pieces. But uh, yeah, if I just chunk that wood in there, then you'll see that uh, as that starts filling up, it's starting to make pistons because, uh, yeah, this is working. And once it makes a piston, it should start, uh, yep, that turned the assembler back on. That's outputting just like it should. That's turning those stampers back on. The whole system is reawakening. It's loading the assembler to ratio. It's, uh, making the gears, the copper gears. It's making the, um... I've got full automation, more or less, for redstone and light engineering blocks. I've got semi-full automation for pistons. I need to chunk in wood, still. Because I don't have a fully automated source of wood just yet. But, um, obviously I have cobblestone. Cobblestone was my first full automated resource. And, uh, I have mostly full automation for the heavy engineering blocks. I still need to supply it with the bronze gears, with the uh, Electrum, and with the steel mechanical components. But, um, yeah. I have real easy engineering blocks now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, yeah. Now I'm finally going to be building a biodiesel industry. Because I have been putting that off, and I've had to move the pump jacks three times. Or two times. I'm on my third oil well. So, yes, two times. And I don't want to go for three. So, we are racing against the depletion of the pump jacks. Indeed. Indeed, I did. That was last episode. Last night's episode. And it's unfortunately a really far ways away. I had to dig a hellaciously long... Um... Utilidor line. It's all the way over here in the village, way over there. But, um, I have this thing geared up for constant production. My goal is to have this thing burning as constantly as it can. And just storing all of its ores in these silos. Because the processing will be as, will be slower than the excavator can produce. So, uh, be, mostly because of just the fact that I don't think it can extract as fast as it can cast. Yeah. I probably need to put more pulsers on that. 
But yeah, that that was a real fun project. Or more accurately, this was a real fun project. Oh yeah, I forgot to chunk load this entire line. I need to do that. Actually, I'm not sure if I technically need to chunk load the entire, entire line. But we'd better do it for safety. Let's see here. Is that just going forward into this chunk? Yeah, it do, and then it... Okay, so it's chunk loaded. In any case, it is time to make some more steel, to make some more steel mechanical components. It's time to probably go out and grab some more gold for more Electrum. And just kind of, yeah. Just kind of work on the on more unusual resources that the heavy engineering blocks need. Because I'm going to need a lot of the heavy engineering blocks for those garden closures. So we'll just grab some charcoal out of the creosote machine. Get a stack of steel plates burning. To make some mechanical components as well as just to have steel in general. But yes, I'm definitely excited now that uh, now that I have most of the grind of engineering blocks handled, I can finally start getting out of the scarcity mindset. Hmm. Okay, it looks like the ratio is still failing on this. Why? Why is this mechanism that I built failing? Hmm. Hmm. Might need to... I mean, it's looking like it's recording a pulse for every time that happens. Which is how it should do. And that should be summoning two plates out of this chest every single time. Yeah, that looks like it's how it's doing. So that should be loading this thing up to ratio, but it's not. Bizarre. Well, we'll examine it if it becomes a problem. Hmm. Okay, how's the steel melt going? Yeah. Yeah, I know. That Again, that's why immediately I geared that thing up to uh, be running 24-7. So even if it only runs for a couple hours, hopefully that should build up a couple of thousand of um, of copper ore. And also, I'm hoping that it's distant enough from both of my bases that it hopefully wasn't constantly chunk loaded. So I'm hopeful for this copper vein. But yeah, if you're talking about the liquid reservoirs that you were going for, yeah, those do not last very long at all. Tall. They absolutely do disappear very fast. And they only got me far enough to uh, limp to this point. Okay, how you doing, Steel? You're doing good. All right. Let's get another one going. More Steel for the Steel Gods. We have the charcoal to do it. And in any case, clearing the charcoal out of uh, the creosote machine is a good deed. Let's the creosote machine run more smoothly. I should probably build some sort of mechanism to automatically void the charcoal when that gets too full. Just so the creosote machine can run forever. Really, charcoal is kind of an unwanted byproduct, if anything, at this point. Especially once I finally get more power into the system and can start building excavators for everything.
get that coal excavator. Then I can make automated steel. Yeah. Then charcoal will be really... Is there anything that specifically uses charcoal, I wonder? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, how's this doing? Stack of steel plate? Great. Have I got any copper building up yet, or is it all still being stolen by the systems? Cool. System is pressurized on copper. That's fantastic news. Alrighty then. So that's enough steel mechanical components to last for a little while. And... Let's see, what else is it gonna need? Steel, right? Just plain steel? Yeah. All right, let's switch it over to ingot casting for steel. It must not be ready yet. Yeah, cool. I've had some thoughts on how I'm going to end up automating alloys like uh, bronze and steel. I think that maybe I'm going to do it straight in a smeltery. Most of the prototypes I built, I've used the alloy furnace, the alloy mixer, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, alloy... Uh, the alloy tank, yes. But I think that if I can work out the bugs in this uh, in this loader system I built for for this, if I can figure out what the heck is going wrong here, then that may be a viable system for just directly smelting alloys to ratio. If only I can work out what's going wrong here. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think it would be this. Yeah. Yeah, saying single pulse, single pulse, single pulse. And each time that's happening. Yeah, there it goes. And it's looking like it's activating every single time. So then is the problem that the gate over on this end is like not receiving... Oh, blue signal turned off. Well... Blue signal off means that we can clear this out properly and give it a try. See if we can observe it messing up in nature. Yeah, see, now it's loading to ratio. Just like you would expect it to. That is how it's supposed to be working. And it's not that it's like some problem with loading, it's chunk loaded. Hmm. Bizarre. Need to explore that in test world, I suppose. So, what's the hold up here? What is, uh, what is your major malfunction? Why are you not producing me engineering blocks? You should be producing heavy engineering blocks. Is it just that you're caught up trying to produce other recipes? Do I need to change the priority list on this thing? Oh, also, I could build you some speed upgrades. That might help, too. So, to build a speed upgrade... For the artisan, we just need another mechanical artisan and a piece of iron. So, uh, yeah, that's annoying, but what you gonna do? We'll just get on that while we're looking at other systems. Let that system run. So then, where is my compressed stick? There is my compressed stick. Where is my twine? There is my twine. So, dip, 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 dip. Dip, dip. We might as well build a couple. And let's see, there's my masonry, 
my pulp, my refractory bricks, bit of iron. Really, should I get on creating a proper automation for furnaces at least? Or even just outright automate the entire the entire uh, basic maybe maybe baby sooner or later we definitely do want to get biodiesel done first but it might be on the list of possible projects in any case, uh, stack of cobble, or appropriate amount of cobble anyway. More iron into furnace, and that's the hard part over. Now we need to. I should still have more of those million work tables I made for the cog dancer somewhere around here. No, oh, I outright have a crafting table. Cool. And then I just need eight of these for a tank. And then I just need some wood. I'm not keeping wood planks in there. Lovely. Oh, right. I was making two of them. Eh, I'll just make one for now. We might as well just save that up for later. Mm. Where was I keeping that crafting table from before? I guess this is a good place. I will promptly forget that furnace exists. Alright, so then I'm going to need a couple of copper. Uh, copper coils. For which I'm just going to need a couple of these. And a couple of these. And... Oh, I have some already. Cool. Even better. All right, so Mecha Artisan. It's just those iron and a bunch of glass. Cool. I should have some glass left over in here. And a bunch of iron. Okay, is that enough? Cool it is. It's almost exactly enough, in fact. Good guesses on my part. If I do say so myself. And then it's just this and this. And this will make the artisan Mooch foster. See? It does come at the cost of additional energy usage, but this thing doesn't use that much energy in the first place, I don't think. And it looks like we have a few heavy engineering blocks already building up. Excellent news. All right, so to make garden cloches, which is the first step of our biodiesel setup, and I think I'm going to need a total of uh, something like 13 sugarcane cloches and eight or nine, eight or nine uh, hemp cloches. So this is not quite enough. So we're going to need iron mechanical components. We're going to need tons of glass. We're going to need vacuum tubes, and we're going to need tons of treated wood. Treated wood is the only one of those that's really at all problematic. And thankfully, we've got a lot of the hard parts of treated wood already dealt with, because we made a load of new forestry ash just... Oh, hello, Fox! Welcome! Welcome, it is wonderful having you here, and it is wonderful seeing your series progress. I hope you don't mind my spammy as hell uh, commentary track I've been making in your comments. 
I'm trying to find the balance of uh, of giving you giving you the experience of uh, of letting you discover for yourself, and also just trying to struggle back the urge to uh, backseat game. <laughs> Well, it's wonderful having another person with the courage. And yes, I do think it takes a little bit of courage. I'm not exaggerating there. Uh, another person with the courage to do a run with actual live commentary. JBTA is a very grindy, very long pack. So the people who do it with no commentary, just because they're doing Dawson's Challenge. Uh, I don't blame them for not putting commentary on it, because, yeah, it's tough trying to figure out how to fill dead air. But at the same time, having the guts to actually do it, and trying to think of ways to create engagement and be entertaining and get your way through it, it's... Uh, well, it, it, it is a challenge, but not backing down from a challenge is, is admirable. And you're doing pretty damn good at it, Fox. You are, you are being pretty dang entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And when I have nothing to say, I more or less just start narrating exactly what I'm doing. So, if, if you listen closely to my commentary, you see a lot of... And now I'm just going to go and lay down this pipeline. Yep, it's a big, long pipeline. We're running a long way down this pipeline. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have any room in my charcoal box? I probably don't. Not in this one. Yeah, that one's full. We are getting overstocked on charcoal. At this point, charcoal has become the unwanted side product. It does, it does. It's also kind of, um, have you ever heard the term rubber ducky debugging? It's a term from, it's, it's a practice in computer science where when you're trying to figure out where something's going wrong in a program, you, I know, I know, it's humble bragging, but, um, yeah, where you're trying to figure out where this inexplicable bug is happening in your code somewhere. So what you do is you take something like a rubber ducky or a doll or a coworker who is not so bright, and you sit them down and you start running through your code step by step, explaining it to them like they're a small child, just talking it through out loud. And half the time you'll go, and then there's this bit of logic where, oh, that's not what I intended. <laughs> Just running through it out loud is enough to find the damn problem. And it really does honestly help. All right, how's this going? Yeah, it's still not producing any more of those. So what's, it's out of steel. Well, we just produced some more steel. How lovely. Shoot. What did it just overwrite? It just overwrote the heavy engineering blocks. There we go. All right. And that is honestly probably enough heavy engineering blocks for this project that we're looking at right now. All thanks to the wonderful mechanical artisan. But yes, I probably should make a hopper for the steel so I don't run into that problem again. Hmm. That sounds intriguing. Well, do you think you're close to the end of uh, in the end of chapter two by your episode? Uh, I haven't watched all of your episode four yet. I I saw you I saw you discover the trees and their wonderful enmity. <laughs> that was. Uh, I, 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 every time I, I saw you cutting down trees and like running ahead of them, I was like, oh, it's going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, this time for sure. <laughs> and then it finally happened. And I think I cheered out loud. <laughs> Same with that damn wooden bucket. 
I saw the moment I saw you pick it up and go, oh, why does no one do this? I knew you were going to find out. Um, I, I don't think you actually properly saw what, what was wrong with the wooden buckets, by the way. The wooden bucket isn't just like limited to one use. It's that as soon as you put water into it, its durability begins uh, climbing down. So it's not just eight uses. It's that it can only hold water for eight seconds before it breaks. And every use will take another second off the timer as well. Yup, yup. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, no. This is, this is still failing. It was loading up to ratio before, but now it's completely out of whack. What the heck is wrong with this system? Okay, run through the logic again. So, this one is looking for blue signal, which blue signal is just the item limiter on this thing. That's just coming from here saying when the hopper is full. So, when there is space in the system and when black signal, which black signal is the pulse from that thing, then emit two pulses from your two separate pulsers. And yeah, that's that's happening. Both those pulsers are flashing every time it receives black signal. And also, when you have item traversing pipe, emit white signal. And yeah, that's happening. Every time it pulls the two items, it is creating a single pulse of white. Yes, but did you... Did you also use wet pet plant fiber as a binding? Okay, so this is again, wind blue signal and wind white signal pulse once and only once. And that looks like it's, ha like it's happening. And this is saying, yeah, wind traversal emit black and that's happening every single time. So the only place this could be breaking is if, let's see, it's loading up more copper than it is iron. Not now, of course, but. Okay, so where could this be going wrong? This could be going wrong in that maybe, maybe the black signal isn't firing every time it loads a copper. Maybe, okay, before the problem was that the buffer storage on here ran out, but that's not happening. So that problem is fixed. So the only thing I can think is that maybe somehow, maybe somehow like, maybe because, maybe because this is a relatively short pipe with a relatively fast speed, Maybe it's not reading the copper every single time or something. So I guess we could try putting the gate on another section of the pipe. And we could see if that fixes it. So we'll put a gate here. Uh, hold on, let's temporarily take... Let's see here. Yeah, let's temporarily take this single off. And that means that we can... Wait, what? Yeah, the stamping is... The stamping is slow, but it does keep up with the, with the assembler, because the assembler is slow. Like, it only needs to do one stamping cycle for every cycle of this. And I think the stamper cycle is shorter than the cycle time on this. So the stampers should be able to keep up. Before the problem was just that uh, while it was loading up the storage buffer on this thing, before it could pressurize the system fully, the, um, the buffer on here, which was just a single wooden hopper, would run out. So I replaced that for a bigger buffer storage and yeah, it's keeping up just fine. So let's take this off. Let's put this on here. So when items traversing, emit black signal. 
And then let's return the logic to here. Single power pulse. And uh, then in order to reboot the system, I should be able to just um, take like a stack in here and then that'll reprime the system. Okay. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see if that if that fixes it. The only other thing I can think is that maybe the pump priming system I built is causing an imbalance somehow, but that should do. The pump priming signal should send the initial pulse to the iron, and then that should send back to the copper, then back to the iron, then back to the copper, and you know, just cycle around. It should start the cycle. It should be it should demand two iron for every piece of copper still. Don't know. Don't know. In any case, I need to make some nickel plates for the vacuum tubes. Yes, I got distracted from the project at hand. Which means I need to cast out all the steel. Yes. That is what I was waiting on and pondering that. <laughs> It's not so bad, really. When it's not causing mystical bullshit like this, the logic system is really simple. And um, for the thing that you use it for 90% of the time, which is just filling up a chest without causing overflows, yeah, it's real simple. It's just like, it's just like emit pipe signal on 75% full and then on the other one, wind signal, pulse pipe. That is what you do 99% of the time. Oh, let's get it out of there faster. Let's get a couple of blocks of steel out. I probably need a couple of blocks of steel anyway. Yeah, sorry. I, I'm probably explaining myself poorly is part of the problem. I tend to like trail off and half of my external dialogue is played in my internal dialogue and I just, uh, I, I fail at communicating. I apologize if that is the case. Okay, we can probably start melting the nickel now. Ah. Okay, so how's this doing? Six ingots? Cool. Yep. Well, it'll be a little while before you unlock build craft gates, but once you do, by all means, just play with them a little bit and you'll figure it out right fast. Really, probably the biggest problem with it is uh, figuring out what all the hookup conditions are. Because, like, um, if it's not next to a tank, then you won't have the things for tank controls. And when it's not next to a storage, you won't have the thing for storage controls. So, it's hard to tell all the things that a gate can even do, you know? Um, I don't know, a little while. I'm up for at least like a couple hours. Okay, so that's also redstone. Cool. Okay, that's a good pile of vacuum tubes. Yep, I, I think Prince might have already dropped out. He said he wasn't going to be able to stay long. Ah, well... I might still be a, I might still be here when you get back. So by all means, don't uh, uh, don't don't uh, wait on my behalf. Go and do the stuff you need to do. Ah. Well, then let's hope for inclement weather, huh? No, I shouldn't do that. You need to go and get your stuff. 
All right, now back to making some creosote. Or rather, some treated wood. How many is that? That should do the trick for a stack. All right, now how many of these am I gonna need? I don't know. Let's just guesstimate. Yeah, yeah. Even by motorbike, just you can only load up so much, you know? Not that I can drive a motorbike. Let's just make a couple stacks of glass, cart that over more easily. I think we need roughly equal parts glass and treated wood. Oops. Let's just make the glass the fast way. Ugh, but yeah, watching you struggle through the early chapters of JBTA because you don't know all the easy skips, it's um it, it's it's kind of inspiring how big that grind is when you don't know the cheese or at least the ease. And good on you for going through it instead of, like, searching up Riley's Guide for all the easy ways. Or watching through all my streams again and seeing how I did it. Good on you for for trying to play the game. Yeah, the volcano helps. <laughs> the volcano definitely helps, at least when it comes to andesite. Alright, so then I think it's in here, yeah? Yeah, that's looking like... Mechanical parts. I forgot the dang mechanical parts. Do a barrel roll in appreciation of the mechanical parts. Well, we can just kind of steal those from here, can't we? Not really. But we can steal enough of them. And that should make us some garden cloches. Huh, not enough glass, not enough treated wood, but close. Alrighty then. So, let's put that in our bag for the moment. And uh, I will be right back real quick. Alright, uh, sorry about that. Our house is developing something of a wood roach problem, and I had an un I had an unwanted guest that needed to be escorted out. Yes. Wood roaches are harmless bugs. They don't bite, they don't carry diseases, they don't even eat human food. It's just that they're attracted to light sources and they want to find dry places out of the rain. So uh they tend they tend to just accidentally bumble their way into your house all the time. And uh, it doesn't matter if they're perfectly harmless. Just the fact that they A, look, they are, are technically a type of cockroach, and B, are the size of your goddamn palm. They need to go. They don't need to be scurrying across your desk. So yes, that was just something that needed to be handled. Uh, no. They just live on trees, really. They eat, um, they eat underbrush, essentially. They eat... Yeah, they're like two to three inches long. They are huge. But, um, they eat... They eat, um, essentially... They eat, um, rotting underbrush. Moldering grass. Decaying wood. <laughs> yep. Yep. They've set up a colony in one of our drains, and we've uh, we've blocked all the taps on the tub. We've plugged up the sinks, but somehow they keep finding themselves inside. Yeah, Detrius. They're they're detrivores. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Need more glass. Need more treated wood. Yes, that's what I was on before that interruption. But yeah, I mean, 
For roaches, they're about as polite as you could ever hope for. Like, you'll never catch a disease off of them. They don't eat your food. They don't bite. The male ones do fly, which is very disconcerting. But, um... Otherwise, they're more or less, um... Just, uh... Just... Just kind of, uh... Clunk a top over them, slide a cardboard under them, and then go and chuck them outside. That's how we're handling the problem for now. Because squishing them makes a big mess. As I'm sure you can imagine. Alright, let's make one more stack. Yes, and ultimately we're probably going to have to, like, uh... We might have to hire a plumber to go and excavate the nest out from wherever they've set up in the drains. If they keep on being this much of a nuisance. Yeah, wasps! Wasps are a lot less friendly than our... If you had wasps that weren't utter terrors? That sounds alien to me. What the heck species of wasp is this? Okay, so let's see here. Again, if I recall, I'm gonna need like eight, eight plus 13, I need 21. So yeah, I overcooked this a little bit. But having extra materials is always appreciated. Especially treated wood and glass at this point. And a few extra heavy engineering blocks is never gonna go amiss. Oh yeah, I'm also going to need more pipe. And I'm pretty much out of gold, aren't I? Okay, we need to do a quick raid into the ships, I think. But let's just store these in here. Store this in here. These. Let's keep these in the bag because they're kind of our immediate project at the moment. Um, I guess I can keep this glass over here. There. All right. Let's find us a ship that hasn't been... But yeah, what the heck species of wasp could you ever describe as polite? Every species of wasp I know of around here are just berserker assholes. They are chaos incarnate. Yeah... Okay, that that's looking like an option. So, let's teleport over to spawn. Wait, 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 wait. Need to repair the pickaxe. Let's just repair all the tools. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I didn't have enough to repair everything. Well, I had enough to repair enough. All right, now back to your regularly scheduled. And I think I'd better switch to the tankier set just in case. Which let's hope I don't forget before we start playing with power cables again. Yep. Slash spawn and slash home are both allowed by the challenge, which is why they aren't limited to creative mode. Um, not really, I don't think. You could do, like, I think slash help would technically give you the entire list of commands that are available to you. Like, that list expands by a lot if you go into creative mode. But, um, ultimately, if you want to know what's allowed by the challenge rules, 
you'd have to stop by the Discord and um, either ask Dawson or just ask someone for the document containing the official rules. Jeez. Skeletons have a bit of aimbot going on today. Hmm. Well, do say hello when you stop by. Say hello in the uh, JBTA help chat. I monitor that quite a lot. That's kind of the main uh, JBTA chat chat. Chat room, I guess. I forgot to bring torches with me, didn't I? Wait, new spawn point? What? Oh, because I clicked a bed. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, I have nowhere near enough torches to permanently safe this. But we don't need to permanently safe this. We just need it safe enough. So we'll save the torches for when a Gru starts showing up. Speaking of... You coming down, Creeper? Yes, you are. Caught Bonitis off that skeleton. Now half my inventory is just going to be unstackable. Oh well. I really wish Bionization would unlock a bit more before, you know, the super end game. I love being a living howitzer with my lovely pig iron bow. <laughs> yeah. That that is really that is that is the price you pay for uh trying to get those easy lazy resources letting the villagers farm them for you. One time I had my village permanently infected with um, whatever the proper disease name is. I ended up just calling it Minecraft Ebola because basically the symptoms of it were nausea and bleeding. I mean, the, the easy, fast way to resolve the early game is essentially exploration. If you explore around and you find all the ways to get the resources easier, you'll get through the first chapters really damn quickly. Uh, like for example, I've seen you uh, struggling to find enough money to buy yourself some smooth stone. Well, these reward chests over here, just digging up a couple of them, I've already got a couple of denier argent. This is probably something like, um, uh, let's see here. A smooth stone is three deniers. So this is probably something like 48 smooth stone in my pocket right here. Just from that couple of reward chests that I poked randomly. Yeah. And here's a stack of smooth stone right here. And not all reward chests are in dangerous areas like these ships. There are some, there's a good amount of them buried just around the village. Regardless, let's get one of our shulker chests out here. So yes, exploration pays off, especially early on. 
let's I'm just throwing out the blood string arrows I'm gonna keep those spider eyes uh, gunpowder sure um I guess I've got these on auto craft now yeah definitely don't want to keep those not bothering with coins bone I want to keep all right let's just pile that all in there And uh, let's go. Keep it daytime. Nice. So that's how you're posting such long episodes so quickly. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I've had trouble watching all your all your stuff as fast as you put it out. Partially because I'm also watching other people's packs as well and trying to make my own. I definitely envy you for having that much time to uh, do a recording session all at once. I wish I could do recording sessions that long, that frequently. Okay, we let's. Eh, yeah, we might as well deplete the ship of all its goodies. <laughs> yes, it's intriguing once you get past the shock value of, oh my god, this takes so much to do. Once you get into the mindset of uh, when you realize that there is always an easier way, that there is kind of a, a secret to it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm not stealing the entire ship, even though I technically could. I mean, all these factory blocks, I could run them in a grinder, and that would technically get me more iron and copper. It's just slow enough that it's not worth it. Especially now that I have iron and copper on excavator. Yeah, I thought you were making a reference to some sci-fi thing. Solarian. Where have I heard that? Where have I heard Solarian? That is a familiar name. Xenogears? That might... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solaris. They were like the the secret Illuminati world police in, in that game, weren't they? And like they were very much a... Uh, they were very much like a uh, fascist theocracy type deal where, like, they were eating Soylent Green and stuff. I mean, I suppose that just sucking up an entire ship would, uh, would be within their purview. I mean, nothing wrong with having a character, nothing wrong with it. Although, as a clever fox, shouldn't you be herring all over the place being like, Ooh, what's this? Ooh, who are you? Ooh, you're interesting. And bothering the people and, the, and their animals a whole lot. Like, sniffing up around all the farms and uh, looking to try and get the villagers to build a hen house for you to, uh, for you to infiltrate. That seems all foxish to me. Yeah, we definitely want to take every lever that we can. Ah, yes, yes. Also, stupid fox. Alright, I think these two levels are cleared out. Down once more. Yes, even though levers won't be useful to you for a little while, but uh, you definitely want some of them. You, you want to start storing those up because they are a very precious resource. 
Although, I am getting close to the point that I can start building them for myself. After biodiesel, it's going to be time for... I think my next excavator is going to be coal. Because when I have infinite coal plus infinite sand, that essentially means I can start producing silicon. Ah, all right. Well, uh, do, do check in and uh, see if I'm still on when you get back. And uh, have a safe trip. Uh, bike safe. And it's, it's very lovely uh, seeing you here, Fox, as always. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the hell out of your series. I hope that uh, you can get some attention on it. You should, you again, stop by the JP, stop by the JBTA Discord and um, put yourself up on the self promotion page for sure. Yep. See you later, maybe. All right. And let's just. Get everything. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be bothering, but it, it would feel awkward having this ship sitting behind potentially potentially having resources in it that I didn't pick up, you know? It, it would bother me. So let's just poke a hole up into the ceiling again. Get some more skylights going. Yep. Cool. All right, and I'm going to need the hammer for this. Indeed. Indeed. We can't be inconsiderate thieves. If we didn't steal all the stuff, then some other thief might come by, and they're wondering why this is such a shitty haul. We have to completely clear it out so that they know, oh, this is just a dry well. I should go somewhere else. Yes. We must be considerate to their feelings. Okay, get all in there. Not you. Not you. I said trash, please. I know. If we don't, then no one will. We have to take it upon ourselves to be to be ethical thieves for the sake of all the other thieves. Because really, what is ethics but a reflection of your own internal philosophy when you think about it? What is ethical is decided by your own personal sense of ethics. And if you are a pirate, then that means you have piratical ethics. And if you are a thief, that must mean you have thievely ethics. And so you should decide your ethics in a thievely way. Although really, I guess these ships have been abandoned and they're just letting monsters roam around them. Am I really stealing or am I salvaging? I think what I could be doing, what I'm doing would be better described as salvaging, really. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Salvaging. Okay. I think I'm just going to get rid of these. These. And those. I'm going to keep tin. I'm going to keep aluminum for now. I can get rid of redstone. I can get rid of copper. Definitely keep every scrap of gold I can find. Okay. Are we all done? I think we are. No, actually, we're not quite done, because I need to mark this so I know it's a dry well. I can get rid of emeralds. I don't need them. I guess I can chuck the aluminum. Okay, cool. We're back to... We're back to full speed.
Is this the final layer? No, it isn't. Just get up on there. All right. And just give it the old cross to let us know that this ship is no good. And one last culling and a home we go. Alrighty then. Really need to figure out a water hole. Then again, part of me is tempted to stubbornly hold on until until Thermal comes in and I can get that beer hat. Yeah. Tempting. Alright, all the blocks. First and foremost, the heaviest stuff. Let's put you away in there. And let's just get the ingots and ingot-like objects sorted away. I guess you are more machine block. Although I'm probably putting that in miscellany, I imagine. You are more of a farmer type thing. No, not you. You. Oh, also, before I forget... Yes, that's better. No, we can keep the golden apples on us, just in case. And ingotly stuff. Oh, boy. I don't know which of those is infected, so we just toss them both. Okay. All the ores get in the box. All the ingotly stuff. Get in the box. Farming stuff. Gears. And... I think that's our hall mostly sorted away. Now I just need my Bursa Deniers. And there we go. We're all sorted. So, time to make... I don't need any more Electrum. I need gold for pipes, yes. Which thankfully is a relatively efficient prospect. Let's just get a few. At one point, a gold excavator is definitely going to be on the menu as a uh, as a project. So, glass and pipe. Make just a couple of stacks. Sort away some of the spares. And let us... So, I'm going to need a diamond pipe for sure. I'm going to need a couple of clay pipes. Um, I think I'm just going to need two of those. Going to need some void pipes. I should have those in my bag. Yep, just going to need two of those. And, yes, also going to need, of course, the garden cloches. So I'm going to need nine dirt. And 13 sand. Thirteen? Then I need twenty-two garden cloches, don't I? Yeah. Uh, no, wait. It was eight dirt. Yeah, it was eight. At least that was what I built in my test build. Okay, so, you know, let's just take those garden cloches out and let's start making a shulker box for this.
another one of our industries in a box. And technically it means that every video where I'm building a system like this is an unboxing video. YouTube's most holy of videos. Okay, so next I'm going to need a couple of devices for processing this into biodiesel. So we're gonna need a squeezer first. So that's gonna take six steel scaffolding, two fluid pipes. We're also gonna need just a ton of fluid pipes in general. So, eh, da, da, da. yeah, let's just grab those. Uh, do I have any more steel ingots in storage? I do. Good morning, computer wizard. It's been a while since I've seen you on here. How you been? Yes, it's, uh, no, it is technically morning to me. Just not in the normal sense that people usually mean it in. You know what? Let's just take a couple of blocks out of the out of the wonderful magic box and let's let's keep those in storage. There we go. Yes, yeah, just let those rebuild. So we're gonna need one of these. We're actually gonna need probably like two or three of these in total. And how many did it say? Two light engineering. And unusually, two, or rather four, wooden barrels. Yes, as well as a piston. Neat. That's nice and easy nowadays. Ah, well, I don't blame you. I've kind of been... I've had a few off days where I didn't feel like streaming. I've been kind of on unusual hours too. So, unusual for me, I should say. So yeah, it's just been, it's just been two chefs passing in the night for the both of us. Ah, I've not played that one. Uh, I kind of looked at it a little bit in uh, in its release, and I was thrown off just by the immense jank. Okay, it needs slabs. Yeah, so that's going to be a little bit of ash spent. Ah, shoot, we're out of treated wood. No, we're, no, we're not. No, we're not. Because I put it all away in one of these. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's good. So, remind me, wooden barrel, slab. Yeah, that all uses creosote, of course. Okay, so that's going to make five, and I need a total of, let's see, in order, not crate, barrel. So I'm going to need three, six, nine, twelve. So, ten, not water. Oh boy. What? How did I... How did I catch... What? What have I caught? Oh boy. Oh boy, I've caught a wonderful new disease. Somehow. <sighs> and it's one of those ones that makes you vomit up items out of your hand. So there's nothing to do but wait because I literally cannot uh, cannot put anything in my hand. So let's just stand on these to prevent them from despawning every once in a while. Yeah, I hate this disease the most. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, boy. And there's a monster who spawned over there, but I unfortunately can't do anything about it because I can't put a weapon in my hand. Uh, it, it's... Well, until now, it was going fantastically. <laughs> We're currently working on a biodiesel industry to finally get infinite supplies of fuel. Okay, get that in my pocket. 
Where's the other stuff that I accidentally chucked on the floor? Yup. And sick in a way that I can't even work through it. Ugh, hates it. Hates this disease. Where did the other stuff go? Did it despawn already? Oh boy. But yes, uh, I suppose I could give you a bit of a base tour while I'm suffering through this. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we have this wonderful spaghetti machine that is... Yeah, it's still not really working properly. Hmm. But uh, it's making us these uh, engineering blocks at a steady rate. And uh, now we have automation for copper, iron, and redstone. Well, not redstone. Yes, yes. The uh, the platform is no longer a uh, a lovely suggestive shape either. Which I'm disappointed that no one pointed out the shape of the platform. I was hoping that someone would boggle over it. How it was shaped for the longest time. I suppose I could put these away. Yeah. Ah, good. It looks like I accidentally picked up all the stuff and didn't realize it. Okay, and I can put this away. Okay, so it looks like I can still keep on going. I just... Ah, good. And it looks like... It looks like uh, that situation is, is resolved now. Shoot. I meant to get this one. So what disease was that? Because I don't think that... I don't think there was a monster who gave that to me anywhere. So that must be an environmental condition that I tripped somehow. So, uh, bionization book, where are you at? Of course, you're in the chest marked with books. So I imagine that's effects, yeah? No, it would probably be a bacteria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, blindness, hunger, blowing water. Cannot breathe into water, slowness in water, no. Uh, where's the one that makes you drop stuff? Hunger, slowness, no. Regeneration, no, no. Okay, maybe it, maybe it was an effect. Weakness and slowness, no. Weakness and slowness, no. Nausea, mining, no, no. Weakness, can't... My immunity is low. Okay, neat. Good to know. I, I don't know how my immunity declined just out of the blue, but good to know. Let's go eat some garlic so that never happens again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. We're out of oil. Okay, we are on a hard time limit now. We need to get this done. Okay, so... Don't panic. If... If we absolutely need a burst of power to continue the build, then what we can do is we can, we can, um, we can steal some oil out of the, out of the Buildcraft refinery tank. But yeah, oh boy, the diesel tank is already half empty, so we... Unfortunately, I want to be running this 24-7 because our copper is burning daylight hours. But we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of copper in the grand scheme of things. In order to just preserve our fuel until we can get this donezo. Because we're going to need a little bit of fuel to prime the system. Okay. So. So, 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 so. So. Squeezer. Squeezer is what we were making right now. So I need to continue making this. 
And that's just gonna need 10, 15 total slabs. Which, of course, I don't have enough ash for. Am I completely out of ash? Shoot, I might be completely out of ash. God dang it. Okay, so... What can I do in the meantime? Because, of course, the most time-consuming product in this entire chain is the one we have to be out of right now. Okay, do I have any more wood piles I can burn? No, not really. Oh, boy. Okay, goddamn forestry ash, I tell you. I tell you what. I could have sworn I built more of it than that, though. Really? Have I spent all of it that I made? I guess I have. Shoot. Okay, so. Empty out the creosote as best we can. Uh, what can I make real quick with this? I guess I could make at least some of wooden barrel. That'll t eat up half of it. Yeah, so there we go for one, two, cool. So that's half the wooden barrels made at least. And that empties out that so I can start working on the glue for more wood pile. And we need more slime, which means we need more blood. Oh, and once again, I long for a blood pipeline. But yeah, we are on a desperate time crunch now. So no blood pipeline yet. <laughs> Maybe after biodiesel, instead of going for a uh, coal excavator next, I should just run the blood pipeline so I stop yearning for it. Okay, yeah, definitely don't panic. We still have, we, we have technically half a million buckets of crude oil. It would just be a pain to move it over into the refinery. Well, half a million buckets minus whatever the uh, Buildcraft refinery is going to eat to repressurize itself fully. Plus whatever was in the pipe. So we'll just round that out to half a million in total. But yeah, oof. And I probably will, in the end, have to move that pump jack just because I am going to want all the other, uh, all the other oil products coming in even when I'm off diesel, just because gasoline and lubricant and all those are products we're gonna need. Seriously, why does that thing disconnect every single time I boot the game? Really, now you two are in on it. These things are conspiring against me, man. They're trying to oppress my creativity. They're part of the system, man. They're probably in league with the government. So we, it looks like, wait, that stopped? Oh, because yeah, copper. Yeah, no, no, wait, what? You have loads of copper in storage, so why is that stopped? Like, that should be loading up into this, no problem. Yeah, it is. So then... You're saying... Yeah, white pipe signal is it being emitted. White pipe signal is being received and blue. Oh, it stopped because this is pressurized. Okay, neat. 
I don't know if I should do that. Like, oh, no, wait, wait, blue is on this one. Yes. Okay, so the gears are fully pressurized. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I was just looking at the wrong dang hopper. Lost track of my own system there. Uh, what am I waiting on? I'm waiting on blood. Which I no longer need to wait on. Okay, so, stack of slime balls. Get on in there. Going to need four stacks of clay. And going to need a stack of logs. I said a stack of logs. Which we need to process down into pulp. Uh, and yeah, most of it's not even ours. Most of it is from those two ships over there, which were smoking up the skies for a little while until I went and took their smokestacks out. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do. Oh, shoot, power. Right, need power. There's not much I can do about it until... Until I get further tech for for uh, climate control stuff for uh, for pollution of the realms, like there's tech in in the uh, in the mod for doing stuff like um, there's a pump that'll suck pollution out of the sky. Uh, there's a vacuum cleaner, a handheld vacuum cleaner that can suck up pollution blocks. So that's going to need two more, it's looking like. No, just one more. So that makes one, two, three, four. So then it needs two, three, four. Yep. Okay, sweet. And that should evenly produce. But yeah, yeah. Uh, not always. I mean, it didn't start piling up until I was living closer to it, so it was chunk-loaded, you know? So it is kind of my fault for moving closer to it, but at the same time, it's also, you know, their fault for building a thing that is just sitting there idle, producing pollution out of nowhere. Okay, so now it's going to need... It's going to need, like, 12... Things of clay were so, I think. Yeah, because it goes five at a time, so 12 would produce 60 glue. And that's where I was miscounting and got mystified the last time, I think. Okay, one... Okay, so that should be a near stack of glue that we've got queued up now. Now I'm going to need four more stacks of log. Yeah, <sighs> come on. I almost wish that like that like there was some tech or something that would just take the weight limit away, you know? Even though working around it is kind of part of the mood of JBTA. At this point, I have so many ways around it. It's just that it's an annoying thing to juggle, you know? But, oh well. What the heck? You, you're out of wood pulp. What? Did I not make all four stacks? I guess I must not have. Shoot. God dang. Okay, well... Let's uh, try and resolve this. Okay, is there anything else I can use liquid clay for in this? If I use in here, 
Uh, no, no, no. Uh, not for that amount. Uh, I don't have any compost. I really don't have any way of cleaning this out, do I? No, I really don't. Oh well. Back in you go. And back under we go. Pick all that garbage up. So, if I remember how my wiring system worked, it was just these two down to the relay, the relay down to the other relay, and that has power reconnected. I long for power cables that just hook up and don't have, like, dependency on, you know, that, that will just stay there when I have to do these types of things. Okay, so then I need my stacks of... Yeah, it looks like I have an anomalous half stack of Sequoia for some reason. So, dip, 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 dip. And then I need to remind myself how much water it takes. Looks like five per, so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And that'll get us as much as we can make with this amount of glue. And it is going to burn 40, 27 at a time. Okay, that's enough. Also gonna need my flint and steel. And at this point, there really is nothing much to do but wait, so turn the generator off. Turn the sun back on. And just pile it up in the old burner. Frickin' forestry ash, man. I hope that there is an easier to automate recipe for this stuff or that the recipes that depend on it are eventually going to calm their calm the calamity in their memories. I mean, I don't think that I have any alternate means of producing this stuff right now. Well, if I made a peat farm, I guess. And also bees. Ugh, no. So yeah, how do you produce peat? It looks like it's made from a forestry multi-farm. I might have to look up how that works. Because yeah, the farm blocks are expensive, but not out of the question. And if I'm making it as part of a bigger mass automation, then yeah. You know what? Let's make ourselves a stack of torches real quick, just because I'm running out. But yeah, now we're unfortunately at a loose end because we are waiting on that forestry ash. How's this doing? Cool. I guess I could load that up into the machine for more pistons. Also gonna need some of this. And I think that's made in the carpenter. Yeah, there we go. 
if I can stop fumbling for one moment. All right. So yeah, that should be enough to make a full stack of pistons in there eventually. Hmm. Oh, it's out of bronze gears. Yeah. All right. So, 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 so. Did this thing finish this process? Eh, not looking like it, but it's close enough. And let's just pause a little bit of power into it. How's our diesel doing? About half a tank, yeah. Let's see, one, two, three. That should do it. Ah, no. It, it's just that it ran out of, like, water. Yeah, okay, cool. And let's just take the dang logs out. Did I miscount how many buckets of water I put in there or something? Is that what caused the uneven amounts of pulp? Who knows? Who knows? All right, what else could I be building at this moment? I suppose I could at least start setting up the garden cloches. Or I could start building some of the other machines that are necessary. So we're also going to need a still? No, what's, what's it called? What's it called? Yes, it's not under simple machines, it's under heavy machines. Fermenter, that's what we need. So we're gonna need six more scaffolding, two more fluid pipes. Fluid pipes we're just gonna presume we have set. Uh, four cauldron, four iron sheet metal. Uh, da, 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 where is the iron sheet metal? Huh. Is that a machine frame? It is. Why is that in there? Why is that in there? And that. Bizarre. In any case. Yeah, da, 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 da. So... One redstone, two light. Four cauldron, four sheet metal. And six scaffolding, right? Right. This is going to take three of those, three of those, and a scaff. Honestly, I should probably just memorize the recipe for scaffolding at this point, but meh. Okay, and now all I need is the cauldrons. I think cauldrons are just made out of plate metal, aren't they? Uh, call. No, it's just straight up made out of metal. Cool. So, I'm going to need 28 iron, which I just have in stock. Make a uh, cauldron. Cool. So, that's the that is the fermenter. Then it is going to need the refinery. Which is going to be yet more scaffolding, so I need to make some more iron rods or steel rods, I should say. And that's, ah, no, I have some in, okay, cool. I knew I was running out of steel rods, so I already made some. What do you know? All right, so make yet more scaffolding. You know, just make all of it. We can apparently never have enough of this stuff. How much did I need? I need eight. Gonna need five fluid pipe, we'll take that as a given. 
Gonna need one of these. Gonna need two light and two heavy. Gonna need 16 sheet metal. Which I'll just grab a nice even amount of uh, plates to make that. Sheet metal is super easy stuff. And that should be the refinery all dealt with. Cool. So now all we need is those last two wooden barrels for which we need the ash. So let's see if we have that in storage just yet. But yeah, you seriously just piss through that forestry ash when you're doing anything involving a lot of... Uh, a lot of treated wood. Nope, you're still a-going. You are still at it. Hmm. Well, what can I do that's useful while I'm waiting? I could start setting up what machines I have and deciding on where I want to do this. Ah, yes, there's also one more thing that this is going to need. It's going to need the actual, you know, plants that are going to go into the cloches. So it's going to need 13 sugarcane, and it's going to need 9 hemp seeds. Or 8 hemp seeds, I should say. Okay, and yep, that's everything that we can produce right now. So... I'm thinking that just here down next to the build craft refinery is looking like a good place for me. Ah, uh, yes, I think I'm also going to want a tank for uh, a tank for the biodiesel itself, but um, that unfortunately is going to have to wait because we would need treated wood fence. Yes, so let's start. Yeah, we might as well might make the refinery first because it's kind of an oddly shaped one. So, eight scaffolding, five fluid pipe. One redstone too light, too heavy. And 16 sheet metal. Which we will just put in our bag for the moment. Okay, so... Stop. It, it, it outputs this way, so. Heavy space light. Heavy pipe light, I should say. I guess build it like right here, yeah. No, that would push these diesel generators forward, so I guess right here, eh. heavy pipe light. So then that's the line of five pipes. Did I not pick up? Ah, oh, I did. Cool. Two, three, four, five, and. Yeah, it's just the heavies and lights piled up. Then it's the scaffolding on the side of those. Oops. And redstone. One space there. Then it's just the piles of uh, of uh, sheet metal. Cool. And they go biased towards the light engineering side. Eh, 
Excellent. And we should just be able to whack that with a hammer. And that's the refinery built. So this is the machine that will create the biodiesel itself. It will take in the uh, the resources of um, ethanol and seed oil, and it will turn them into biodiesel using just a little bit of power. So then, that means that we need to run fluid pipe off of it and like down a couple of spaces this way to wherever we're going to have our machines. Yeah, let's put it like over there just so it's not covering up a light block. Yeah, that might look good. And also just for the sake of aesthetics, it doesn't change anything functionally, but just preventing a connection right there. And why is it so damn cold? It's not raining or anything, so why? But, <clears throat> okay, next up, the, uh, the fermenter. Fermenter. That's gonna take six scaffolding, two fluid pipe, one redstone. Uh, redstone to light. Four cauldron and four sheet metal. Cool. So, pipes are probably on the bottom layer, I imagine. Stop. Okay, so its output is facing this way. And we want that in line with our pipe just for maximum aesthetics. So, it's just in the dead center of its suite. That's what you want to see. And it's kind of just a three by three, so just like that. And then it's just, yep. Like so, and like so. And like so. And like so. And that's just piled up. Yep, yep. With the redstone being right here. And then the cauldrons. Oops. And then the sheet metal. And that should do it. Unless I place something wrong. On the central cauldron from the side that has the engineering blocks. Yeah, I placed something wrong, cool. So. Or it just doesn't like being connected to a pipe like that, so. Hmm. Okay. Pipe, pipe, scaff, scaff, light. Pipe, pipe, scaff, scaff, light. Scaff, 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 scaff. Just like so. Then it's the four cauldron, the light, the redstone. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing where I, ah, I was just hitting the wrong thing. Cool. All right, so that's all hooked up. And unfortunately, I can't be laying out the squeezer just yet, but let's see if, let's see if our savior has arrived. <sighs> yeah. 
like, I definitely am going to be looking into that forestry multi-block farm and maybe testing and seeing just how annoying it is doing the peat bog thing. The reason I haven't used the forestry multi-block farm for something like automating wood, it's still not done. This area is chunk loaded, right? Right. Hmm. But the reason I haven't been using the forestry multi-block farm is simply because it requires a constant influx of fertilizer, which can only be made using appetite, which is not a resource I can get from an excavator or anything else like that, to my knowledge. To my knowledge, the only infinite source of appetite I have is bees. And if I were going to be doing bees for the forestry multi-block farm to make peat, I might as well just do bees to get the peat, you know? Or even just bees to get the ash directly, since they can do that too. Well, I guess we can start setting up the garden cloches at least. So, the sugarcane side is going to have 13. And, uh, yes, we're going to need extractor pipes. Which I have in my pocket, don't I? Yes, I do. Cool. So we're going to need 13 of those. We're going to need 13 pulsers. That's a bit expensive, but what you gonna do? At least we made a nice fresh set of pistons. You know, let's just make all of them. All of them that we can. Get us out of the scarcity mindset. So, I already had some in here, cool. Yeah, let's make a whole damn stack. So to do that, I'm going to need four stack of sticks. Which I might not have. Let's start on the processing chain to getting some more sticks. Hmm. Okay, let's just make all the ones that we can. Did that saw just break? That is just my life right now, isn't it? Ah, dang it. <clears throat> well. Do I have any alternate means of making sticks? Carpenter, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's really the best option I have right now, I suppose. But in any case, wrong one. I need the gasoline. Right, right. In any case, let's just make what's available to us at the moment. So then I need to make red engine. As many as it'll let me. All right, well, have yourself a lovely day, computer wizard. It was wonderful seeing you here. I hope that I can catch you at a time when you're less exhausted, and uh, thank you for stopping by. You know that you are always more than welcome here. Yeah, that's not even enough to build what we need to at the moment, but that's just kind of how our life's going at the moment. Okay, cool. And then that. Okay, so... We want to line it up so that the output line is going to be right here. Also, I need that clay pipe. And a void pipe. Because, yeah, I'm not going to have this on any schmancy control whatsoever. I'm just going to have it on a good old-fashioned clay void mix. So that... Oh, yeah, I'm also going to need tons of iron pipe, aren't I? Yeah, because this is just going to be a straight-up stupid line. So it needs iron pipe so it knows which way to go. Mm. 
let's just make that many. That should be what, half a stack? Yeah, that should do. Okay, so I think that if I just start it like right here, that should do it, right? No, it needs to be one space further back. Because it needs that extractor pipe on the front. Yeah, that's the pattern. That's the pattern. Cool. So then... <laughs> it's kind of exactly lined up with the, uh, with the extent of our platform, isn't it? That's beautiful. Alrighty then. Yeah, I shouldn't attempt to be fast or fancy. I should I should realize my place as slow, clumsy trash. Bereft of skill. Okay, just get it programmed. Pointing all the right ways. Yep. And dupe. And that should all be pointed the right way. So now it needs sand, it needs sugarcane, it needs a light on top of each one of these. And it's going to need water and it's going to need power. I forgot the liquid pumps. I forgot to make the thing to provide it with water. Thankfully, that is really cheap to make. And let's just... It's not even. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Uh. Yes, that was a completely unnecessary bit of aesthetics. But we're kind of killing time at this point and hoping against hope that the stupid ash is completed. What the hell? How? Where? Tree? Tree top tree top shouldn't be spawnable. Where is the spawnable space that these guys are coming from? Keep it daytime in the meantime. We probably don't want the village breeding up too many people anyway. Yes, also need to remember to put a torch in here when we're done. Yep, that is just my own back end. Creeperitis gives you a exploding, a, a rather explosive um, evacuation, shall we say, yes. Otherwise, it's an entirely, it's an entirely um, positive disease, other than making your inventory no, no longer stack and um, and making it so that if you take a single point of explosion damage from any source, 
you will die automatically. But other than that, it's entirely positive. Okay, so. And other than that, of course, yes. So, da, 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 da. and I think I really do only need to give it one, don't I? No, wait, how do I make this? There we go. Okay, and then I can just give it this. And that should, if the battery were charged, make five. And it's just gonna need a little pulse. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna need more HP connectors, aren't we? Yeah, we are, as well as more HP cable. Hello, Prince, welcome home. Uh, we had, we ran out of forestry ash and that was a tremendous delay on the project. So uh, yeah, you, you missed, you missed derp and fail, as to be expected. Also, sneak attack by a creeper, spawned in heaven knows how. Oh, this is not going to be enough uh, to waste all the creosote. Ash in the center, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, so then I think I'm just going to need to, like, make a crate. And I need a little bit more treated wood, but I should have that. Mm-hmm. And uh, where is my treated wood? There it is. Right. Power. Yeah, we're out of oil. We're out of oil. So uh, we're, we're trying to preserve every drop of diesel until we can produce infinite diesel. Preserving every last drop until I have that, uh, that refinery up. Which we're getting there, we're getting there. Right, I need to make the fluid pump. I need to make a couple of fluid pumps. Two of them to be precise. Oh, there's one. And eh, let's just make some dang pipe. Fluid. I'm pretty sure I pronounced I enunciated my L on that one. All right, welcome back, Fox. And uh, all right, those are in the metal here. Just a couple of blocks of redstone to give it signal. And I am going to need to make some more terracotta, aren't I? Yes. So what have I got in here? Eh, that should hopefully be enough. Goodness, the gang's all here. Uh, so Prince, are you are you really sure that you're not going to be posting your um? your JBTA series anymore? Is it, is your upload speed really that bad that you, that you just can't do it anymore? Because man, I mean, I, I know you haven't posted up to the point, but I know that in your actual, in your actual, the point that you've recorded so far, you are my most ardent competition right now, other than of course, Riley and, and Brid who've both been doing this for so long that they don't count. But man, if you ain't gonna be posting it no more and I'm gonna miss having you around, man. I'm gonna miss watching your series. Okay, so I need to make HB wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need steel and aluminum wire. Do I have that in stock? I have steel, I don't have aluminum, sweet. Yeah. 
but yeah, if you have any other means of producing, uh, of uploading your videos, like, could you, could you maybe like, if you're going to school somewhere, could you take an all flash drive and upload it there? Uh, if you have unlimited data on your cell network, could you, could you like, um, could you maybe tether your phone and use that for an upload? Although I probably wouldn't recommend that. That would like even supposedly unlimited data has, you know, your soft caps where they limit your speed after a little while. So yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Bad advice. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, there's gotta be something you can do, man. Okay, and I think that should do it. I'm probably going to need more connectors. And by probably, I mean definitely. But let's at least get the sugar cane a going. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this, hmm, the top really might be the best spot for it when it's laid out like this, yeah, because they don't have an, a power slot on the bottom, unfortunately. Yeah, I wish I could send you bandwidth, Prince. I wish I could let you borrow some of my bandwidth. Okay, and I guess that means that this doesn't need to be lit up after all. If it's going to be running off of a, uh, running off of some sort of line of power like that, yeah. So then, there's going to be like one over here, one over there. Then there'll be like one right there, and then we'll probably have a, another line of. Uh, Yes, yes, uh, yes, everyone watching, uh, one like on this video is one, is one more megabit of second of bandwidth for, for prints. Please donate generously. Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's lay out our system entirely. Let's build the squeezer. So we're just going to build that right here. And I think it's kind of very similar in layout, isn't it? If we look at it. Stop it. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, and we had a problem with this pipe last time. So let's just get ahead of that problem. Uh, one of our, our, our pipes are connected, are, are infected, lovely. Let's just disinfect them already. Well, one of those is infected. In any case, so da 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 da, book. Let's see. We have the two pipes down. We're gonna need the six scaffolding. We're gonna need a redstone. We're gonna need two light. We're gonna need the piston. We're gonna need the four barrels. And three steel fence and two fluid pipes. Okay, sweet. So, yep, layout of the scaffolding is exactly the same. Remind me one more time. Yep. 
And I imagine it's just the two lights piled on top of each other. Yep. And then the redstone in the exact same place as well. Keep it daytime because we are having mysterious enemy spawns. Then it looks like it's the four barrels like that. <laughs> yes, yes. I murdered your mysterious ghost pumpkin. Mwahaha, it was my plan all along. Who needs context when you're a supervillain like me? Okay, and is it the... Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. And then we can just reconnect that right there. And that is our squeezer all laid out. Sweet. So then I just need to continue figuring out how my power system is going to be laid out. And yes, I'm going to need more HV connectors. So... I'm thinking that I might have a pass-through, like, right here-ish. Go up into a relay up there, connect these three machines. And then we'll have, like, a relay or two over the center of this line, running power down in here. And that might be how we do it. Unfortunately, I don't think I've run the platform out this far. Oh. You saw that in my regrowth series, did you? Yes, yes. I, I The angry pumpkin seeds of emergency internet connectivity. Yes, always a vital, vital product. Mm. That was one that I regret, um, I regret how I handled the spirit world. I was like, okay, I'm just going to get a basic base set up and then I'll like not have to show so much on screen all the grind of the spirit world. And I ended up just kind of getting into it because I wasn't habitually recording. And by the time I was like, okay, I should start the next episode. The spirit world was basically done. And I was so angry at myself that uh, it just fed into the frustration. I was like, okay, screw the spirit world. I'm going to join up when I have this completely broken. And that's how that episode ended up happening. Okay, so where's the rough center of this line? Oh, no, this is a line of 13. It, in fact, does have a center, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. Okay, and I think my liquid pipes are back in the box. But yes, I definitely wish that I had uh, just started recording and shown the whole spirit world grind because my increasing frustration and insanity eventually leading up to the to the great pumpkin seed incident really probably would have made tremendously amusing uh, fodder, shall we say. Yes, hook all these up. It definitely would have justified my little cackling breakdown. It would have been a similar to the to the bees incident. Yeah, I haven't run the platform out far enough on this side. But I think that we can kind of just jank our way through. Yep. And shift tap that once, twice to get an output on that side. Give it power. Give it torch. Give it a lovely nipple with which to tweak. And uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's definitely something that's different about JBTA and live streaming. Literally everything is a lot of the boring stuff is shown, but also sometimes just 
the insanity that I wouldn't that I wouldn't catch in regrowth skipping uh, skipping forward has also shown so uh, JBTA yeah I, I think that uh, at the very least if I ever do a, another Minecraft pack after JBTA that I decide to edit instead of just live streaming then I will at least habitually record everything, you know? And also, we might as well just run it from that relay. Yep, over to that. And start getting that going. But if we look into the cloches, we should see... No, why don't they have water? Did my hammer tap fail? Oh, it just doesn't have power. Right. Okay, cool. But yeah, that should all be set up. So, when we turn the system on then it'll all be ready and it'll it'll start uh, filling up okay so now let's get out some building blocks i said let's get out some building blocks and let's go up just like i don't know Maybe this high. And uh, let's see if I can parkour. Ha <laughs> ha. Put that down. Run cable down. And then I can just dupe and dupe and dupe and hopefully dupe and dupe and dupe. Okay, so that's the primary machines powered. Now we just need to make another relay like over in the center of this line just for the sake of neatness. Yeah, that's the center one. So let's try and get it like on the relatively same level. One more, I think. And I don't think I even need to parkour down this because it's I'm so much higher up, relatively speaking. And just jank it on over. And then jank it on up. Weaving cables back and forth. What a beautiful sight this will be. Ah, yes. Observe the rare power cable jellyfish in this natural habitat. What an elegant and beautiful creature it is. Oh, isn't this a joyous day to see such a rare sight stretched out before us. Brings a tear to the eye. The sky is crying in joy. Okay. So. Yeah, it's also a circus tent. Cool. But no, I, I prefer I prefer thinking of it as the power jellyfish. It's so big and floompy and tentacly. 
Okay, so now we need to lay out one more line of garden cloche. Just right schmear. No, it can't be right schmar. Because it would need it would need um Yeah, because the input on this on this one is on the side, whereas on this one No, it, it is on the side, okay. Oh, it would just be starting right here. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh where is the crate? There is the crate. Okay, so remind me where is my clay? There is my void. Just like so. And yeah, I think this is actually gonna be one space back farther. So we're gonna have an iron pipe and then a extractor pipe. And then the cloches will be right there. Just like so. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put torches on there because I need to make some more HV connectors. So I need to run more clay. Just compact it myself because it's so much faster. If I can locate my dang shovel. And that should make a nice, nice uh, bundle of connectors for us to use. Grab some aluminium and make them connectors. Beauteous. Come on, game. There we go. I suppose that no, let's let's set up the pipes first. So it's also gonna need ah shoot, I'm also gonna need more pulsers, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay, so doop 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 and doop 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 doop. Cool. Next, grab the raunch and get it squanched. You know, I actually don't need a pipe plug there because these are iron pipes. So neat. Or, and then this way, this way, this way. That should direct everything into the system proper. No, no, this needs to be moved back another space because this needs a diamond pipe to handle the, the seeds. I forgot about the dang fiber in the seeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. It's a good thing we thought of that now. Okay, so I do in fact need a diamond pipe on here, which I brought with me even just to remind myself. I unfortunately did not bring any hemp fiber with me, but I guess that can be handled by default because I still have seeds on me. So let's just place these like a couple of spaces back, like back here. So these are gonna need the extraction pipes. Uh, 
these are going to need the iron pipes. And then at the end, it's going to need a diamond pipe. Right, nya. And we're going to say that hemp seeds then will be traveling. Remind me which direction this is. Hemp seeds will be traveling down the yellow direction. And by default, I guess then, uh, I guess I'll just put a void pipe on any other direction and that'll handle the fiber for now. But I am going to want to eventually pick up some uh, industrial hemp fiber and make a system to make um, to make wool more automatically out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. And then we just take our dirt, dirt and seed, and that will program this for hump. Just a like a so. And, oh wait, yeah, I did make more connectors, of course, derp. Okay. And I don't think I need to really run a relay over. It should just be fine as it is. If I can reach that relay. There. Oh, this is looking like some proper factorio wire, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. Look at this. This, this is art right here. There is nothing to call this but absolutely artistic. Possibly with a U replacing the R. Okay, so. Eh, right here. Indeed. I mean, I guess. It looks a little bit like some sort of, uh, some sort of loading render error, but, uh, sure, we'll call it pretty. Yeah, I, I guess. Okay, so, tap, tap, and then connector on top. And it's looking like there might not be a convenient... Ah, right over there. Okay. So that should be everything hooked up. If I go and run... The, uh... Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I want a tank for the biodiesel, don't I? I really do. I really, really do. All right, well, let's activate the Kraken. Let's unleash the Kraken. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a grow. Did I forget to wrench these? I think I forgot to wrench these. And I forgot to put pulsers on them. <laughs> Oh, we have all the jank today, folks. We have all the jank. Okay, but at least our sugar cane should be properly sorting. If I look in here, 
Come on, sugar cane. Where? Oh, I forgot to turn the pulsers on. There we go. And down it goes. And that should be turning into ethanol. And pumping out into here. And there we are. Oh, God, sweet ethanol. We're going to have to stop me from just cracking open this tank and pouring it down my gullet. Mmm. Industrial grade Everclear. God. Tasty stuff. Mmm. Just mix some fruit juice into that. Oh, yeah. We've got the good stuff, baby. We are living the good life. These must be infected. Okay, so I am going to need some more pulsers in order to get the hemp properly coming out. So for that, I'm going to need more sticks. And unfortunately, I'm kind of out of saw to make more stick. So, uh, do I have any planks? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there are. I am definitely sure that there are. So, I think I can just then... Uh, okay, what was the recipe for a stick on this carpenter? Yeah, it's just in the corner. Okay, so right there. And then give it a bucket of water. Yeah, that'll make me some sticks. That should make me 20 at a time, right? Cool. So then 40, 60. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It, vodka is basically just ethanol with a little bit of water in it, pretty much. So by all means, that is not an unreasonable an unreasonable proposition. Okay, that should be enough to get us by. <laughs> yes, yeah, we we know not where the uh, where the world could go. It 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 just the uh, it it just the uh, poor Sergey over there. He he fall asleep for. Ten minutes, and it all just go mysteriously away. Yes, he is extremely high evap evaporation rate. Yes. Uh, do not to blame Sergei too much. Uh, it is it is medical condition. You see, we pay him many ruble, and his narcolepsy, it kick in. Yes. Ooh, yeah. And rightly so. And rightly, rightly so. Okay, so we should shortly... Wait, did I... Industrial hemp seeds should be going down yellow. Are we just not producing any? What's going on? We're producing lots of hemp fiber. Where's hemp seed? Oh, it's just not pulsing out f fast enough because it's unloading. What? Why are the? Oh, I forgot the rest of the pipes. <laughs> Silly me. Well, this is why you pay attention when you're test firing your systems. At least not all of them have a ton of. A ton of stuff to uh, to offload now. No, if there's no destination, then it should just go out whatever side it didn't come from that's available. It should treat it essentially like a normal transport pipe, except it would consider it would consider the, the destination that is programmed to not be viable. So yes, if there is no destination, 
then it should... Uh, well, if there's no destination, then um, the behavior you're seeing out of the fibers can, can happens where it's only available path is down red. If I were to make another pipe going down that way, then the fibers would split 50-50 between this void pipe and whatever I put down that way. Like, I'll show you that. I'll show you that now. If I put this down here, then we should see that fibers are splitting 50-50. Yeah, down both paths. See? Oops. Yep. Well, I'm not sure how mechanism pipes behave in that regard. It's been so long since I played with mechanism. Oof, we're getting visible lag. Yes, tool is too strong. It has many vodka power in it. Ah, oh, but look at this. Yes, 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 it is crushing. And we already have 24 buckets of biodiesel in storage. So, let's get a tank made. And let's start getting ready to move the engine over. All right, so to make a tank, we're going to need just a little bit of treated wood fence. And yes, let's keep our hands on this fiber for when we need to uh, to make the proper system for handling that. Because, yeah, we definitely will be wanting to do something with the fiber. Uh, we're going to be wanting to make that hemp fiber essentially into wool. Um... um what am I doubled up on? Because there should be a slot for these HV wire coils in here. Uh, golden transport pipe. That's what I'm doubled up on. So shouldn't you be... I guess one of those stacks is infected. Oh, well. It's not this one. So I need to disinfect these. Eh. It's close enough to a stack that we'll just keep it. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, the problem here is that little Annie here is not, in fact, all that fast. Uh, she's got a mining speed of, what, 11? The problem is that it has the aqua dynamic boost. So whenever it rains, her speed changes unexpectedly. And that is the problem, that her speed is not consistent. No, wait, this goes in a logistics bag, doesn't it? Yeah, so I'm still doubled up on something in here. No, I, I guess just in this bag, it's fine. Okay, so, uh, treated wood fence, treated wood fence. Come on. There we go. And hopefully I can just give that a bucket of, well, let's let's see here. Yeah, I can just give that a bucket of creosote oil and it'll not water, dang it. Eh, I need to, again, I need to make a drinking hole somewhere up on the top side somewhere for convenient disposal of water and stuff like that. Okay. And uh, remind me, book, how many sheet metal does a tank take? That is going to take 34. So I should just be able to grab like a half a stack out of here. And I should have a little bit of sheet metal still in storage somewhere. If not, but yeah, there it is. And then just like so, there we go, 34 sheet metal all stored up and ready, along with, we're out of power. 
Soon. Soon, TM. Okay, that's enough. And there we go. There's our treated wood fence. Which should have some in storage somewhere, shouldn't I? I don't think I use them all. Eh, whatever. Into intermediary as you go. Okay, so tank. Also, we're gonna need a redstone block to automatically just uh, get fluid out of there. Okay, so Monsieur Tank, right just over here, I think. And that is just a simple matter of, it's essentially just a shorter silo. And that's why I made sure to pick up exactly enough sheet metal so it's obvious when it's time to slab it off. Which is right now. Put and torch on top. And whack it with the hammer. Where is my hammer? Did I put the hammer in this bag? Where did, ah. So that's what the anomalous item in my logistics bag was. That was a creeper blowing up. How did that happen? Must be like in one of the shipwrecks nearby. But regardless, put a redstone on there immediately and let's, no, nah, let's use build crap. I, I don't have fluid pipes on me, do I? No, I do. I just don't have very many. And there we go. That is biodiesel building up. Look at that beauty. Huzzah, yes. That is what we will choose to believe. It's celebratory fireworks. Oh no, I shouldn't be using these fluid pipes because then it'll then it'll be outputting like that. Well, it doesn't particularly matter. It does not particularly matter, but yeah, let's Okay. Well, let us come down here. And let's move the old engine. Yep, yep. Hmm. So, take this out of here. And just kind of chunk it away just to save us a little bit of inventory space. And... Will the pollution stop if I just rip this thing apart, or do I need to wait for it to completely cool down? I have no idea. Let's find out. Looks like it just stops. Sweet. Alrighty then. And... Down you come. I suppose we might as well upgrade this to a pulser while we're passing by. Ah, yes. One thing that we do need to do is... Um, I took the void pipe off of the... Um, diesel into the distillery so that it would just use this pipe as an intermediary storage so it was only making diesel when it absolutely had to. And I need to put that fluid pipe back on before I forget. Um, Where are... Did I throw out that void fluid pipe? I guess I must have. Well, let's make a new one. 
we'll just use the void pipes that we have in our bag for the, uh, but yeah, I need to put that back in place. Cool. And I guess that since I'm low on fluid pipes, I can just steal these. Heck, I can steal this too. I just need to crawl under to get all that treasure. Ah, good. We found a radiator block anyway. Cool. There we go. Alrighty then. So... Now, let's double check and make sure that we have the entire diesel uh, diesel gin in our pocket. If I can stop flubbing everything. And that is... What? Did I... Oh, I haven't finished deconstructing it yet, of course. How how absolutely unfortunate of me, yes. But that is a good thing that I was double checking myself, isn't it? Yes. It's just showing prudence. Ah, hello. Welcome, Cookie God. Well, um, welcome to the channel. I do, uh, I do kind of uh, dramatic readings as my, I consider that to be the uh, primary product of pride on this channel. But right now we're just streaming a very intensively grindy Minecraft quest pack. Yes, very much, very much welcome. I'll just throw out one of these stacks of wool. It's fine. Very much welcome to the channel, and I hope you enjoy your time here. Well, I'm doing just fine right now. Uh, we are finally getting out of the scarcity zone in this pack, you know? Uh, we're finally getting out of subsistence living and getting to the point that we just have infinite resources We've we've got like all the basic resources coming in on excavators right now. So we're building up like tens of thousands of iron and redstone and copper and things like that. And um, I just finished building this wonderfully janky, incredibly, incredibly uh, artistic looking, we've decided on the term for it. Incredibly artistic uh, biofuel refinery that is just going to grow me diesel fuel infinitely. And we're just reconstructing the engine right now. So I think the first spaces on it are just, and unfortunately my inventory is just chock full, which is never fun. Well, thank you very much. And I wish you many happy returns and hope you enjoy your time on the channel. So what brought you here? Did you did you stumble across word of uh, let's read syrup leaf or something? Because that's probably the one that a lot of people are coming here for now that I've started up on it. So I imagine the input outputs are right there. Um, I guess... I'm eventually going to want more diesel engines. I need to decide how to make this tileable. So, I guess let's make the outputs inputs right here. Yeah, and then eventually I'll have a second one like sitting over here. Oh. Well, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it. But yeah, uh, how did you find the channel? Did YouTube just randomly decide to uh, put me in your recommendations or something? Or were you searching for something? I'm just curious how people are finding me, you know? Because I know by no means am I like 
search optimized. By no means am I uh, am I super intensively gaming the system to try and get everyone noticing. Ah, well. I hope it gave you a good one then, in your opinion. All right, so that's just a fat C with the redstone on the right side. Like so, and then it's a T on the top. And I think that should be everything. Yeah. Okay, so then we just need to dig out the old hammer and try and remember where to whack this thing. Right there, sweet. All right, so now we can just run this on over. And that should start loading her up. Ah, yes, and we need to remember right away, right, right away to put our chimney on this thing because this is a pollution beast. Well, Java addiction. Is that a metaphor for something or is that just, is that a game I've not heard of? Like, is that a metaphor for the, the, the Java addiction of, uh, of Minecraft or some other game? Or is that, uh, I'll, I'll have to Google that because I've not heard of anything called Java addiction. Ah, yeah. Ah, it's just an autocorrect. Yeah. Well, are you going to play vanilla or are you going to play modded? Because in my opinion, I, I don't think... I don't think vanilla Minecraft really has enough to keep you into it for very long. I mean, it gets pretty intensive these days. You see people doing interesting things with it. But they kind of have to go out of their way to find those things, you know? They have to do things like uh, get hunters together. Or do a one-block challenge skyblock. Or uh, something like that. Ah, well. I can tell you that if you're looking for a good really long term project jpta will te will will uh oh well i'll have to check you out once you get that going by all means if you decide to stick around the channel if you decide to keep watching uh let me know when you start posting content um 12th century fox is is another friend of the channel here who recently started producing his own jpta run and he's doing fantastically if, uh, if you're looking for more modded Minecraft content, you should definitely check him out. Okay, so need to get this hooked up once more. Yes, we need to make sure that anytime we... Ah, oh, no, wait, this has to be on the other side, doesn't it? Yeah, because I'm going to eventually use this for the redstone control. So this was placed the wrong way around. I think I need it facing this way then. Let's see. No. Well, let's just configure it the old fashioned way then. So that needs to be red. That needs to be blue. And I guess that means our outputs are on. Let's see here. So, bottom and side will be our connections in that regard. I mean, if you like, sure. Uh, probably not anything too terribly time-consuming. Because right now, making Let's Read Syrup Leaf is eating up every inch of spare time that I have, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, if, if you just want to, like, do a video together, then, um, yeah, sure. Um, oh, right, not there. Can't be there. Can I do there? Yeah, I can. Okay, sweet. That connects. All right. All right. It lives. And we should see, now that we booted up the system, 
Well, the biodiesel tank is completely empty right now, but it should be producing a steady drip of it from here. Yeah, our plant oil is running down, but our biodiesel should be running up. And we should see that this pipe is gradually starting to... Gradually starting to fill up because we are producing biodiesel faster than we're spending it. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. But yeah, uh, Cookie God, and Fox for that matter, if you three want to get together and, like, play something multiplayer together, I'm up for it. I will, I would, I would, I would love to do that sometime, sure. Uh, my recording time is pretty limited. I'm usually up at really wonky hours, but around this time, like, um, I've been streaming for, what, two, three hours at this point? This is about my usual recording time is the long and the short of it there. So if you're if you're making content around this hour, then yeah, I'll gladly join you. I'll join you for something real quick. And in fact, I was halfway decently pondering like um for upcoming October for the for the spooky month. I was considering digging out some like indie horror games and oh is this maybe where our mysterious monster spawns are coming from? Just that I forgot to put lighting on top of our uh, storage tanks over here. That could potentially be the source. But, uh, yeah. Speaking of, does anyone have any ideas for, like, for good indie horror games that haven't been done to death? Yeah, that would be a fantastic name for a game. Ghost of the Silo. Could be about like an abandoned nuclear bunker. Love it. But oh, look at this. Yup, we are building up biodiesel. Beauteous. Uh-oh. Why is that? It's because it's on a pulser now, not on a... Okay. So it looks like the rate that a pulsar extracts is different than the rate that a redstone engine extracts. And it's not quite as fast. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Turn you off for the moment. Okay, so... How to handle this problem. Uh, if the problem is that it's simply not extracting the ashes fast enough, then building a glass dome wouldn't really help because then it would start building up pollution and it would start going down the chimney and eventually it would clog the machine. Well, no, it, if it wasn't able to output out the chimney, it would just start blasting out the machine. It would just, it would just delay the problem. So the problem is, then the solution is that we need to either... Um, we might need, no, I'm not sure if more Pulsar would do it. Well, we can, we can test that. We can test that theory. We can test that theory. See if more Pulsar will do. See if more Pulsar will do it. Does anyone play Bedrock Edition if they're uh, if they're trying to play modded Minecraft? If I th when I think of Bedrock Edition players, I usually think they're playing vanilla Minecraft. Hmm. Well, it's creating some interesting rendering errors. I'll tell you what. Yeah, but. Not very many mods have been ported to Bedrock, have they? Not that I know of, anyway. Like, I think most of the big ones are in there. And I don't know of any, like, big Bedrock Edition modded packs. Mod packs. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. It's looking like this might be handling it. But we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on this. Yeah. I mean, it is kind of a pity that Bedrock didn't get the modded love, because I imagine that it would have a lot less of the trouble that uh, Java does with performance. Yeah, but are they single mods or are they like modded? Are, are they like mod packs? Are they quest packs? Are they like... Are they like all the things that you, you know, look for when you're playing Java Edition? Like, those sound like single features where what you find in Java is like you find entire dang projects. You have your agrarian skies, your regrowths, your JBTAs. Okay, well. Shows me for not being educated about the joys of bedrock, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like the pollution is being handled now, so... Okay. Well. Hmm. I know you just kind of got here, Cookie God, but uh, I've been running this stream for about three hours now. We have built this entire system in this stream, and a lot of derp and resource gathering besides, so... I'm sorry to say that this is probably the end of my stream for today. But uh, thank you very much for stopping by. And uh, yeah, if you are producing content around this uh, around these hours, then uh, then yeah, I'll very much I'll very much uh, be willing to collab with you on something if you like. We can we can get the boys together. So. This is wonderful news. We have infinite fuel for one engine. This is also a system that we are going to have to be expanding over time. Um, this one refinery... Uh, yes, I do. Um, hold on. I, I don't think I... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can... Uh, da, 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 da. Um, no, I'd better not, I'd, I'd, I'd actually better not post that in a public internet place, but, um, yeah, I better not post, like, my username or anything like that, no. I, I don't have a Discord server, I just have a Discord account. Um, if you want to get into JBTA, then, then, um, you can check out the JBTA Discord server, which you can look up on the Smodpack's CurseForge page. Or even better, I'll just give you, I'll just give you a link to it real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is the Discord link? Come on, load up, please. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. Yes, check out the JBTA Discord over here and I am on there a whole lot. If you want to talk JBTA, then you can find me on there and you can DM me through there and we can just we can just talk. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Where was where was my train of thought? Um right. So, we have infinite fuel now, effectively. And now we are going to have to, next episode, I'm going to work on building a system for taking the hemp fibers that we are currently just throwing out, being produced by our fuel generation process, and I'm going to work on turning them into wool and automatically getting them into all of our pollution filters. 
Um, well, I don't know what your Discord name is. I'm not, like, super into Discord if it's, if there's some obvious way to tell. But yes, next time we'll be making automatic pollution filter filling. And we will then be starting on the uh, next big project, which will be getting coal excavator going. And, um... And then getting silicon so we can make proper controls for everything. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, I will I will send you a DM on there, Cookie God. And for everyone else who is at Fox and everyone else watching right now and everyone who's going to be watching the VOD later, I will see you on the next one. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. And I will see you later. Cookie God. Fox, thank you for joining me on this. You both have yourself a beautiful day.